It's the first day of term at Etokumala Reformatory, a detention facility for young criminals. For the inmates, this is their last chance. If they don't reform, they go to jail. Among the boys, brothers Yuri and Eric Peach, both heroin addicts. Under strict supervision, 17-year-old Eric and 14-year-old Yuri have been off heroin for more than four months now. But old habits die hard. Before the start of each school day, the boys are allowed a smoke break, a substitute for their former fix of heroin, crack or mandrax. <laughs> In February this year, special assignment witnessed the arrest of Yuri and Eric, two of Pretoria's youngest and most notorious drug addicts. One thing that I did find about these two boys are the masters of manipulation. They can manipulate any situation so that it suits them. I think it's a circumstance that forced them into that. Eric and Yuri come from a broken home. Their alcoholic father left a long time ago. Their mother tries to make a living as a car guard or by begging on Pretoria's busiest street corners. <laughs> Eric and Yuri are well known to Pretoria's Narcotics Bureau. They've been arrested several times before. The Children's Court had previously sent them to an industrial school, but they escaped 15 times. They were also sent to a drug rehabilitation center but ran away four times within three days. No amount of medication could help them get through withdrawal. Drugs have stunted their growth. Both are small for their age. They started smoking Dacha and Mandrax, even sniffing thinners, when Yuri was only eight. From the police cells, Yuri and Eric were transferred to a youth detention facility until the court could decide what to do with them. You think about it, these guys, if they don't receive help, they're going to die, that's for sure. Every time that they ran away from the industrial school, they were found on street corners, or they were, they were spotted on street corners or in busy streets, either begging or giving themselves as in, in change of money. Their mother and her boyfriend clearly can't cope with the boy's addiction and their manipulation. The family lives in one small room. They can hardly afford the rent, and while adults beg, the boys roam the streets. They've also been involved in prostitution and armed robbery to get money for drugs. If I could lay the blame on any specific person's door, um, without being funny, I would lay the blame at the parents' door, at the, at the door of their mother. All children are born the same, with the opportunity. But grown-ups enter their lives. I, I don't think that she's giving them the right support in, in as much as taking action against them. She left them to do as they please. The court refused to send the boys back to their mother. If they were older, it would have been prison for them. But they were given one last chance. Um, they've had a hard life. Uh, the only, the only and thing that is left for them, and I believe that 
That would save them to put them into a reform school. For any child to go to a reform school, it's not the best. But there's no other way to help them any longer. They don't give the cooperation and they start escaping from this school as well. I don't foresee that either one of them will live past the age of 90. This is Etokumala Reformatory near Kinross in Mpumalanga. Yuri and Eric have been sentenced to two years here. This is the very last effort by the state to rehabilitate the boys. Etokumala is one of just two remaining reformatories in the country. The boys who come here are between the ages of 13 and 17 and have been sentenced by a juvenile court. Gangsters. Some <laughs> God tried to rape him in the jail and I stabbed him in the neck. Second time was over here. Guy was playing with Jesus, so I got angry and we started fighting. And then afterwards he wanted to eat me with iron, so I stabbed him. While they stay here, the boys' criminal sentences are suspended. When the state eventually releases them back into society, they'll have a clean slate. If they run away, they may go to jail, and all prior convictions will be counted. The new intake arrives at Johannesburg Station. They come from all corners of the country. These boys awaited trial at North End of Prison in Port Elizabeth. Among them, two 14-year-old rapists, a 16-year-old murderer, and several armed robbers. The goal of the work is to get the children on the foot and the chance to live to go. Unless in life is by sight, the child must learn how he is in the society or in the family to be able to live, how he must behave, what the norms and values. He must hand up and man far away to be with his friends. Each of these boys has missed out on a normal childhood and at least two years of education. Right. This is a problem that the kids are long to hear about it. They can have it for a year. Het is een afwachting dus in die tronk en dan wordt hij zacht verhoor en dan kan hij misschien nog vier maanden zitten na het uitspraak geleverd is voordat hij opgenomen wordt in de school. Hoe oud is jij? Wat is dan wat is jij? Ik ben hier van. Het is al vier geloos. Wat zag je maar? Ik lag er wel. These boys spent time in an adult prison while awaiting trial. In that time, they were exposed to gangsterism, sodomy, and drugs. They encountered criminal minds much more sophisticated than their own. Today, they bring these skills with them. On the 22nd of March, Eric and Yuri arrived. When I, I, I heard that they were coming, what worried me was they absconded from a, an institution 15 times. Then I said, but we are also an institution. How can we really accept these kids? So when I saw them, I said, well, God help us. We might not make, we might not make it with them. I will not tell you that I will not be able to get in some of the process. You see, I will not be able to get in some of the process. I will not be able to get in some of the process. 
no problem. But Yuri, the little one, he had a few little hiccups about that, and he's not disciplined. He'll tell you, ah, I can't sit, things like that. And he must say, yes, I'll sit. So it's all the other sit. Yuri was a scapular part. He won't need the eye. He says, but he won't need blind me in. He verlangs that his mom and dad begin now. It's a scapular part. And Eric was very still, but he had to know his book with the fact that he's not the youngest of his sisters. All the new boys have to be searched when they first arrive. Dr. Mahamba is the chief childcare worker at Etokumala. He makes sure that the boys don't smuggle in drugs, tobacco, sharp objects or money. But these efforts are often in vain. Dacha gets in, tobacco gets in, money gets in. As for sharp objects, kitchen spoons are smuggled from the dining hall and pens are taken from classrooms. All personal belongings are taken in and reported in an occurrence book. The boys get them back when they leave. Like in any prison, boys cannot wear their own clothes. They come from all walks of life, and the idea is that here, everyone is the same. The school caters for 160 boys, but at the moment they are 184. It costs the government almost 3 million rand to run the school every year, not counting staff salaries. Ah, and is your nobir very strong? Hilungani. Nee, strong, my brother. What is this? Is that? Okay. The school, the school, and for iemand. There are 60 staff members, about one for every three children. This includes childcare workers and admin staff. Dealing with one child that uh, you have to accept that he is derailed is like dealing with 20 normal children. They're not used to any discipline at all. No routine, no discipline. Uh, no things like uh, going to sleep at a certain time at night, getting up at a certain time, going to shower at a certain time. Uh, there's a lot to do. On arrival, the boys sign an agreement with the reformatory that they will abide by its code of conduct. Corporal punishment has been abandoned. Bad behavior results in privileges being taken away. Pocket money or smoke breaks might be suspended to enforce discipline. Placing boys in appropriate classes is difficult. They have to make up for time in jail and most attended school erratically. Many lack the basic life skills that other kids learn from their families and parents. So it was in 1998 when, when you did Standard 4. You are supposed to have passed grade seven. Now, can you read this passage? This passage is on magazine. Me? So I want you to read this passage so that I can hear how much English do you, do, do you know and how do you pronounce English? Just read that for me. Magazine are another source of information. Unlike Newspaper, they are published either weekly, fortnightly, monthly, or quite lately. <laughs> yeah, quite for a recommended book. Mm. Some are aimed at families and have a range of articles applying to a wide readership. Okay. 
But uh, what I've realized that the more you read English, you, 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 you have improved in your reading. Eto Komala has a policy of constructive criticism. In fact, no child ever fails. If a boy doesn't do well in the class where he's placed, he's simply moved to another that fits his educational needs and coping skills better. Both Eric and Yuri are better at maths than at spelling and reading. They've been placed back in the grades they left two years ago. The dog is a juvenile drunk. They loop in a fear can so it's a juvenile drunk. Dog I can have a better school as some person's neighbor school. Leave you for a eight. Hano a hobuna school to stand at ten. To see neck near the school and it taught stand at eight. Geo ni paya oplay deng ni. En ma geo biki. Dus daarom piks om te doen met jou lewe. Al ons wat sien slaap aan kamer vier. Skyf ons op bed en steen mekaar. En lewe ons nie praat. So so wat, vir wat is hy so? Toe hy gekom het, vir wat is hy? Sê nie, kom van kryl af uit die huis om in te blij nie. Sê maal het om weg, ja. Dan hoor en vertel ek om nie, ek is wat raak, sê so. Vertel hy aan jou nie, nie, hy is wat dit, sê so. Hulle sê ons elke kraai met sy nagevolge. As jy gevang raak, moet jy straf kry. Dan moet my jou twee jaar hier blij, want as jy weggerk op elke keer, dan ga jy na ergere plek, toe ergere plek. Dan is my laaste kan, dan moet ek tronk toe gaan, waar ek my laaste kans kon gebruik het. It seems to be much harder for 14-year-old Yuri to reform his ways. The boy's physical and mental abilities have been badly damaged by drugs. The reformatory says his chances are limited of ever developing the capacity to discern right from wrong. So is his potential to develop real insight into his drug problem. He might be safe for now, but will probably return to his former ways if given half a chance. You see, there are a lot of questions. A up to G. Who is the oldest? So you must look here. Who is the oldest of all the people there? Then you answer it. Hard drugs may no longer be at hand, but the school provides a daily fix of two cigarettes to those over 16, which they share with the younger ones. Dacha is also frequently smuggled in. At first, Yuri showed few signs of cooperating. Soon after admission, the brothers tried to escape. Their stepfather also smuggled in cigarettes and tobacco during a visit. They were therefore not allowed to go home for the Easter holidays. The reformatory encourages home visits to build family ties. During the Easter holidays, a handful of problematic boys had to remain behind, and the staff decided to take them on a nature adventure excursion. This is the development training college at Waterfallboven in Mpumalanga. The center offers games and challenges to help kids realize their potential and build self-esteem. You see, what we do here is uh, we uh, emphasize the personal and social development of the individual. And we use the outdoors as our classroom. They would do bridge jump, they would do archery, and all sorts of things. Now, say with archery. What's your goal in life? Where are you going to? Piet Ice works with school and church groups from around the country. He specializes in giving spiritual guidance and motivation to the youth. Ice also has a remarkable story to tell of abuse at Etokomala. Today he takes care of a young boy who was sodomized and assaulted at the reformatory. This is the boy, Vicky Mabuza, a convicted housebreaker who grew up in Waterfallboven. Ace and Vicky met even before the boy was sentenced to the reformatory. Ice 
With a drunk care worker in charge and totally outnumbered, Vicky was overpowered. The night before he came to me, he was uh, sodomized in the room and uh, it was terrible. Then he phoned me the next day and told me the whole story and I confirmed it with, with the teachers there. And it happened and they got the guilty guy and then there was a court case the Monday. But I phoned one of the teachers, he said, look, if the guy's going to be guilty, he's going to just go to another prison. In his hour of need, Vicky phoned the one man he knew would help him, Piet Ais. Ais decided to intervene. He drove to Etokomala and offered to take care of the boy. The reformatory agreed to release Vicky into the care of the Ais family. Later, Ais took Vicky to all the families he'd robbed in Waterfallboven, where the boy apologized. Today, he's like one of the family's own kids. But initially, it wasn't easy to have a problem child in the home. As soon as he had a chance, Vicky ran away. The second time, he ran away again. He ran away for four days. And, and I thought he's gone. I thought he's gone. And he, uh, he was in the township, and I heard that he was with the crooks again. And I thought, oh man, this is not going to work. Uh, it's, something's happening. But we prayed for him, and we said, Vicky, you've got to make a choice. The choice, what's your choice? So on Friday, he, he, uh, Monday he, he left. The Friday he came back in my office here at the Development Training College. And he was standing there, just looking down, and he said, I'm back. I said, and so he's back. And uh, he's been back ever since. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> Well, I just see uh, a new child. Pete Ace is now Vicky's legal guardian. In a stable home and surrounded by a supportive family, Vicky's excelling at school. His life of crime is finally behind him. Why is that? Yeah, why? But when the boys from Etokomala visited the Development Training College, Vicky was once again forced to confront his past. He came face to face with one of the boys who had raped and assaulted him. Back at Etokumala and the beginning of a new term. Some of the boys will have returned to crime during their break at home. The sanctuary of these walls will be a welcome respite from having to fend for themselves. <laughs> It was not, there was like a guy, he tried to rape one of my best friends. And then the guy came to me and he asked, told me what must he do because they're trying to rape him. So he told a couple of guys, then we beat him up. We beat him up. There are some people who don't want to change, you see. They are telling themselves that's I me. Mean. I don't want to change, you see. But me, I have already changed. For Yuri and Eric, the Etokumala experience is the best chance they can hope for. It's already a small miracle that they're still in the reformatory after four months and that they haven't yet had the opportunity to touch hard drugs again.
Terus tadi masalah Ala tukit rak sabraiki Nak pekanu rakum Kenimnya fikir khuduni Probeer my sama gaya kan khiyama Payar Dis no khik war met me Kan no khrakum sabwa Living is a mud, then I'm a trick to make with the rock, cut or say, put on a leg.